bilateral and synergistic opportunities between Qatar and China. That's what the subject of discussions. Let's look at for a minute the global economy, Qatar economy, opportunities in Qatar. Chinese economy is a major performer in a global ranking. And let's look at how exactly we should look at the three segments and then create a model which is win-win. Global economics, we have global economy, originally IMF said in April 6%, advanced economies 5.1%, emerging market 6.7%. Chinese economy should do for this year 8.4 and next year 5.6%. Now, when it comes to World Bank, which this month announced the revision, global economy is set to expand 5.6%, not 6%, 5.6%, its strongest post-recession pace in 80 years. The recovery is uneven and largely reflects sharp rebounds in some major economies amid highly unequal vaccine access with many poor countries facing subdued prospects. The point is major economies, advanced economies are bouncing back faster than originally thought and emerging markets incrementally who are dominant in terms of productivity and they are slowing down because of unequal vaccine access and facing subdued prospects for performance and productivity. Advanced economies, 5.4%, emerging economies, 6%. When it comes to Qatar economy, we should be doing around 167 billion. When it comes to the growth momentum, 2.4%, inflation is also said to be around 2.4%, population is around 2.8 million. Gross debt is around 59.8% and current account is, as a percentage of GDP, is 7% surplus. The banking system has done reasonably well. Lending growth is 5.26%. Deposit growth is around 4.2%. Government sector is 12%. Real estate is half a percent. Consumption is around 6.85%. Contracting is around 1.26%. Services is a contraction of half a percent. Trading is around 0.3 percent. Qatar fiscal 2021, Qatar unveiled new currencies, Qatar LNG projects, North Hill, North Field East 77 to 110, North Field South 110 to 125, Qatar cabinet announces support to private sector, Qatar trade surplus almost triple year on year in April to 12.8 billion. That's very important. Trade surplus is almost triples. Qatar airport and Qatar free zones plays a big role. Qatar port like Hamad, Doha and Dubai displayed robust performances in May this year as it witnessed double digit growth, number of ships calling on these ports and container handling. The ports have done very well. That's the development. As far as Qatar, number of cases concerned 220,000 and death is around 570. Number of doses is around 2.68. Fully vaccinated is around 40.1%, that is 1.13 million. The capital market is doing reasonably well, 200% up. Bonds have been issued, Doha Bank half a billion. QNB 1 billion, Alali Bank 300 million. Let's come to the Chinese economy. Chinese economy, as I said, it's supposed to grow at 8.4%. The productivity, it will be $16.6 trillion. Inflation is around 1.89%. Population is around 1.4 billion. Government grossed it to G GDP, percentage of GDP is around 69.6% and current account balance is around 273 billion. Now, Chinese economy grow 
last year even if you look at it it, it grew around 2.3 percent this year is growing at 8.4 percent last year that was the only economy expand amid global recession in may 2021 chinese central bank pumped cash into the financial system through open market operations on monday to maintain liquidity in the market total of 100 billion yuan that is 15.5 billion us dollars was injected into mlf scheme that is medium term lending facility again last month china rushes to pull back the yuan from a three year high as the people bank of china made a rare announcement on monday that financial institutions will need to increase the ratio of their foreign exchange deposits on wednesday the central bank set the yuan midpoint fix a weaker against us dollar reversing the straight six straight trading days of stronger fixings so fixing the weaker yuan reversing the six straight trading days of stronger fixings china covid access and vaccine cases to be very profound and they are going in fast track arguably in great guns china is an opportunity china qatar is a bigger opportunity china qatar trade is around 11.7 billion that is qatar export to china is 7.8 billion mainly lng and petrochemicals and qatar imports from china is around 3.9 billion in 2020 mainly machinery electricals qatar petroleum signs 3 billion for lng ship construction with hudong zonghua ship building group in april that's very important 3 billion for LNG ship construction bilateral is around 11.7 billion export is around 7.8 import is 3.9 in September 2018 Qatar gas signed agreement with Petro China International to supply 3.4 million tons of LNG annually to China until 2040 3.4 uh, million tons of LNG annually to China until 2040 as a long-term contract 3.4 million metric ton. China is expected to become one of the largest gas markets in the world. In November 2018, Doha hosted sixth edition of the World Economic Development Forum in conjunction with 30th anniversary of the establishment of Qatar-China relationship. So Doha hosted the sixth edition of the World Economic Development Forum. It was two years before, in conjunction with 30th anniversary of the diplomatic, diplomatic relationship, I should say. Qatar Petroleum signs a 10-year LNG deal with China, May 2021. Qatar Petroleum will supply China's Sinopec with 2 million tons per year of LNG for a 10-year term. Qatar Petroleum signs 10-year LNG deal with China, May 2021. Qatar Petroleum signs 10-year LNG deal with China May 2021. Qatar Petroleum will supply China Sinopec with 2 million tons per year of LNG for 10-year terms. In February 2021, Qatar Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani on Saturday held a meeting with visiting senior Chinese diplomatic diplomat Yang Jiechi. So 2021. The he met during which the two sides were to boost the cooperation and deepen the china qatar strategic partnership so visiting chinese diplomat met his highness emir in february 2021 china is ready to work with qatar to boost co coordination of development strategies deepen the cooperation in the joint construction of the belt and road initiative belt and road initiative as well as fighting covid 19 pandemic China is ready to work with Qatar to boost coordination of development strategies. China's full support to Qatar hosting 2022 FIFA World Cup, pledging that China will continue to support Chinese will China will continue to support the Chinese companies in overcoming the challenges created by the pandemic in order to complete the construction of relevant stadium on schedule with high quality. That's more important. Chinese companies are engaging in it and uh, full support of hosting 2022. Qatar-China bilateral 
agreements have been signed in March 2021. The state of Qatar and the People's Republic of China signed the protocol amending the agreement for avoidance of double taxation and preventing financial evasions concerning income taxes between the two countries two countries governments at the general tax authority headquarters that's very important so when it comes to qatar china bilateral during emir his highness sheikh tamim bin hamad al thani's visit to china qatar ministry of commerce and industry successfully organized a china qatar business forum china qatar business forum agreement between china and qatar on mutual visa exemption in july 2018 agreement between qatar china on mutual visa exemption in july 2018 china an attractive destination for qatari investors in the areas of shipbuilding manufacturing petro petrochemical high tech hotel services tourism and financial services etc china an attractive destination for qatari investors in the areas of shipbuilding manufacturing petrochemicals high tech hotel services tourism and financial services key holds shareholding in agriculture bank of china more than 200 companies chinese companies in qatar in january 2019 last is ayna's visit mutual visa exemptions have been agreed and uh, areas where they can work together manufacturing petrochemical high tech hotel services tourism financial services they have, they can qatar investors can k also holds since over uh, 12 years agriculture bank of china more than 200 companies tasmo program smart qatar is an initiative ministry of transport again to transform qatar into a world class smart city smart city is going to be done by tasmo and its latest digital solutions The government of Qatar intends to invest Kia Qatar Real six billion over next five years in Tasmo program. Five years, six billion Qatar Real Tasmo program starting point for startups, SMEs, multinational companies seeking to provide innovative solutions to Qatar. In April 2015, Qatar opened Middle East first center for clearing transaction in Chinese yuan. Chinese yuan, thanks to Qatar Central Bank and people, uh, Central Bank of China in Beijing, the above development has boosted the trade and investment between China and the Middle East region. For the region, Qatar is the clearing base. Qatar also organized Qatar China 2016 Year of Culture, which was. most important cultural activity in the history of both the countries qatar museums held exhibition in qatar china throughout the year in 2016 china can explore relationship in sme and contract finance, contract sectors opportunities throughout fintech and startups to support technology based economy trade finance investment opportunities are bigger opportunities performance bond tender bonds for chinese companies letter of credit on both exports and imports very important qfc is an opportunity then we will bring in the most important regulations non qatari ca- capital 100% including allocation of land that was in 2019 law 1 of 2019 again last year 2020 may emir passed law 12 of 2020 that is public private partnership built operate transfer model Qatar implemented two tier residency program under which buyers of property worth of 1 million dollar or more will be eligible for permanent residency in October. Qatar Free Zone Authority had unveiled a 3 billion development and foreign direct investment fund for SMEs that's important Free Zone Authority that's a good one. Qatar is an investment destination again This year, April 2021, 100% ownership in limits for Qatar listed companies, so Chinese can invest. Qatar food security, Qatar fintech, business startups are all important opportunities for Chinese companies. These are the points which we are going to bring across when it comes to bilateral opportunities between China and Qatar.